Hello there, and welcome to War Factory for today. Wait, wait for it. I'm going to get the month right this time. October. Crap, now I forgot the day. The 5th, okay! I had to get it right eventually, right? Okay, attack number one. Throwing out some riflemen. That's right, I'm rocking my level... 13 riflemen <laughs> and a whole buttload of Zookas in behind that and uh, why am I rocking my level 15 riflemen well I'll tell you it's because they're cannon fodder and I don't care if they live or die uh, also I, I know someone posted that they had recently gotten access to the war factory but couldn't take it down in five attacks and you know normally didn't even do it and this is probably a great war factory i guess map for anyone looking to try out war factory even just to farm the first couple of resources uh one you're gonna get a whole bunch of stone because the the first reward is a bunch of stone but you're also going to get some prototype parts and things like that. And if you go up this right-hand side, uh, you can you can farm quite a bit as long as you take out that rocket launcher that I took out. And obviously the shock launcher is here. Just be careful of the laser. Two shocks will knock everything out. And then, you know, this is a little more advanced. If you're just farming, you probably won't be doing this. Because I was like, alright, well, I gotta pull everything back now and resituate, and this is more for people looking to go all the way with Gearheart phrasing? People who are looking to take down the base completely. Yes, perfect! Aha! Uh, there are defenses to the. Well, unfortunately, they're stuck behind the, the Zookas and stuff right now. Uh, well, not behind the Zookas, but the little pictures of the troops on the left-hand side. There's actually a whole bunch of, G, uh, of of free buildings that can be farmed up over there. So if you landed, like, say, uh, half and half riflemen and Zookas right there on the beach, you could kind of farm your way across the beach down into the corner where I landed. And then from there, come up towards the the cannons and everything and honestly you're probably gonna make the 40 uh 40 units reward uh it, because honestly doing this clear and just cutting in the way i did uh, i believe i made 39 on the first attack so even if it takes all five of your attacks to get the 40 you'll get a whole bunch of prototype parts assuming you even care that much about getting the prototype parts but if you can't get the prototype parts you can definitely get the stone you only need to kill two buildings if you have to load up all your level one gren grenadiers and just park yourself down in the corner where i landed and it'll be nice and safe and they'll just they'll eventually be able to blow something up with zero losses possibly even several somethings which would be good all right, now attack number two, obviously attack number one. You kind of saw where I went. Attack number two kind of messed up on the placement of my barrage. That was supposed to take out the flamethrower, but uh, I believe in excellence through mediocrity, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then with everything being cleared right up, up the right side, Obviously, I'm going into the corner and then flaring my way through. Now, I actually flared here on purpose because I wanted all of my Zookas to really tighten up and get into a nice tight pack right up against the wall because when I come in from that flare, it just makes life a lot easier whilst I am trying to smoke. And then, whammo, there is a lovely little spot right there for my Zookas to go. And I'm doing fantastic. Throw a flare down onto the HQ to throw the brakes onto my ladies. They all sit under there. And then it is a nice, simple three shock. One, two, and three. 
And then they're gonna kill everything with a few heals. Oh no, I'm throwing flares instead. That's right, I threw like freaking two flares in there thinking they were medkits to, you know, keep my troops alive through the machine guns. Um, much swearing. Much swearing. I can't even begin to explain the amount of swearing. So I was like, all right, fine. Because I, I thought for sure, okay, you know what? First attack went super great. This is going to be a two, two load attack. It's, it's going to be amazing. I'm finally not going to feel like a noob doing War Factory. And then I had to go and ruin it all. But that's fine. Attack number three, doing the exact same approach, doing the exact same thing. Even have a little bit of extra GBE this time because I don't have to throw the barrages and artilleries and whatnot. And same deal, right into the corner and then flare the troops in. Wham wham. And then I start messing up with my smokes. And I also placed my, uh, my flare way too far forward. Because while I checked everything out and made sure it was a three shocker, I forgot to check and be like, oh, if I pull up too far forward, what happens? Well, I'll tell you what happens. That rocket launcher right there happens. And it ruins my poor Zookas. <sighs> All right, next week, War Factory. I swear it's going to be amazeballs. Uh, on the plus side... One very easy GBE attack was all it took to finish this off, and we get some fat loot. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully this has been entertaining. And hopefully you don't do what I did. And have a great day.